Wow. What do we call this sprint qualifying qualifying at this point? I don't really care. Today was probably one of the worst qualifying, if you want to call that, a complete and utter debacle of a qualifying that we witnessed today. And it was nothing to do with Mercedes, that the Mercedes are in the toilet. We know this. They keep messing with the setup. They keep messing with whatever they're messing with. Lewis Hamilton's foot is halfway out the door, in my opinion. I'm not saying Mercedes are out of it, but it's not looking good at this moment. I still think Mercedes are... It's a better race car, but this sprint weekend, it doesn't really favour Mercedes. The gods, the weather, favoured Red Bull. The rain just came at the perfect time. Perfect time. It's like the new when to switch off the weather. Weather on, weather off. That's all it was. But... For me, Ferrari is still the favourites. We are in... We are at Imola. The home of Ferrari. Along with Monza. And this is... For me, this is Charles Leclerc's time to shine. He done it. In he done it a couple of years ago, I think it was 2019, front of the Defosi at um, Imola. No, not Imola at Monza, and now he's gonna do it at Imola. In my opinion, I think the Ferrari are going to wrap this race up come Sunday. I think that tomorrow, come tomorrow, you're gonna see Charles Leclerc at that finish line with nice, with a nice eight points to his name. Because it's not three points this time, it's eight. So they've added that on. So, yeah. Ferrari are looking good. Um, for me, well, like, look. Red Bull. We all know they got lucky. They done their lapping. And then, I think there was about ten. There was about ten red flags during the three sessions. Um, there was about at least about five tens, a bit going too far, but you know where I'm coming from. There was a lot of red flags during this session, and for me, Red Bull done their lap. And when the flag came out, they, they all came in. And then when it was time for Ferrari and the rest of the crew to come out and do their laps, the gods came, the rain came down, so we knew. Charles was not getting pole. But what stood out for me today is well, two things stood out for me today. Mercedes, completely, I don't know what's going on with these guys. We got told that there was going to bring an upgrade to Imola. No upgrade. We got some geeks on Twitter putting out these words saying, oh, they've got this, they've got a new side pod. Listen, you stupid geek there's no side pods no nothing they have brought jack shit stop trying to um, sound smart on twitter we all know you are googling and you're copy and pasting the words because you cannot spell we know this there's no upgrade they said there was going to bring an upgrade to imola and i think the other day they changed their mind and said look we're not going to get an upgrade to Spain, which for me was a mistake. They've come from being the best team on the grid to what effectively kind of the worst team. Hamilton barely made it out of Q1. Again. So I'm sorry if emotions are running high. That's just human emotion. Most of you geeks that are coming online that are spreading all these rumors have probably you're about 25 stone. You're wedged into your mum's sofa. You can't get up. You got a bag for a belly. And you're coming on here and you're trying to say, oh, th this is happening. This is happening. 
to make your lives better. We understand. To me, look, I've, I'm, I've said it from the beginning. Mercedes are a better race car. Mercedes are amazing in the race for what they've got. They are a better race car. They, they haven't sorted that porpoising out. Do I think they're going to sort the porpoising out? I don't know. I do not know from now. Listen, I will make my judgment at Spain. When it comes to Spain and they add their upgrades and they have, if they're still porpoising and they're still struggling to get into Q3, it's time to just accept it and say, look, it's time to look for 2023 season. That's all you can do. But if Spain comes and the upgrades work, then it's game on. But I'm happy for Charles Leclerc. I like Charles Leclerc. I think he's an amazing driver. Um, I think he's a great ambassador for Formula One. And I hope he does it this weekend. Really do. I really hope he does it. I think he will. Charles Leclerc. Someone jacked his watch as well. Pathetic. He's in the best car of the season. He's in the best car. Charles Leclerc and Carla Sainz are in the best car. Carla Sainz, he's just not doing it at the moment. He's just signed his two-year contract. I thought this weekend he was going to come into this weekend and he was going to start stepping up. He just got his two-year con contract. He's going to be there for um, another two years. So 2024, everything's settled. He's seen confident in the press conference before the um, the before today. And he's come out and he's put his car into the barrier. And it looked weird because he was on the dry batch. It was a simple corner to make, especially for a guy like Carlos Sainz, Formula One driver. That was just a simple corner. He spinned and he put his car into the barrier. Smacked up his front wing. So... Carla Sainz, if he carries on doing that for the next couple of races, he's going to have to be a supporting role for Charles Leclerc already. We're only a few races into the season and he's already botched most of his um, races. You know, so it's one of them. He's coming to Formula One. He said his dream team was Ferrari, which I never knew. I never knew that today until he talked about it on his press conference. He said that's his dream team. He, he, he wanted to come to Ferrari ever since he was a little kid. He's at Ferrari now, and he's not cutting the mustard. He Look, he's got the best car. So, is the pressure getting to him because he's got the best car? You know, the same Formula 1, you either sink or swim. Nobody remembers number two. People only remember number one. You win the title, nobody remembers runner-up. People only remember the winner. When they go back in time and they start talking about the 88 season or the 94 season or whatever season in Formula 1, nobody remembers second place. People only remember the number one, the one who won the title. He's told, he's um, Carlos Sainz going to be a Rubens Barrichello to Michael Schumacher. I'm not going to make that assessment now. I'm just putting it out there. But easy. I've got faith in Carlos. I think Carlos Sainz is one of the greatest drivers on the grid. Top five, easy. And that is before he came into um, Ferrari. Before, this is when he was at Toro Russell. All of a sudden now, he's in the team. But he's not cutting the mustard. Let's see what happens tomorrow. He's going to start tomorrow in 10th place. The sprint race is 28 laps. So, he's starting from 10th place. Let's see what happens. It's going to be a bit difficult for him because we know that Imola is not a really a track to overtake. But we'll know tomorrow. Let's see what he's got. I've got faith in him. I think oh, Carlos Sainz is amazing. He's up there with Charles Leclerc. I think Charles Leclerc has had his number so far this season. But the season, he's quite young. But like I said, I think if Ferrari, if they, if they look at the situation now, if, if you're a fan, even if you're not a Ferrari fan, even if you're not a Charles Leclerc fan, even if you're not a Carlos Sainz fan, if you're looking in now, you're looking at this situation, you're thinking, one of them two drivers, who's going to win the title out of them two? If you're going to pick one to take out a Ferrari, which one you're going to run with? It's going to be Charles Leclerc. Because Charles Leclerc hasn't made any mistakes, really. But Carlos Sainz has. So let's see what happens tomorrow. It's going to be very interesting tomorrow, the race. 
while the sprint qualifying. See what happens. But all I can say, yeah, that's all I can say at the moment. If you want to um, hit the subscribe button, follow me on. Um, oh, by the way, I'm on Twitch now. I'm on Twitch and no, not Twitch. Follow me. I am also on iTunes now. I am on iTunes and Spotify. So if you want to catch me on Spotify and iTunes, it is Solo P1 F1 Reviews. Just go to Spotify, go to iTunes, type that in, and you'll see me. Hit the subscribe. It's free of charge. Hit the subscribe. Follow me on iTunes. Follow me on Spotify. Much appreciated. And I'd appreciate it if you want to like the episodes as well. So for you guys, you don't all girls, you don't want to watch me on video, you can always watch me, listen to me in the car or lying in bed or on the sofa, whatever you want to do. The audio version is there as well. So this is Solo P1. This is the end of, not even a review really, just talking about it. My opinion really. Let's see what happens tomorrow in this sprint qualifying. And hopefully we don't get no 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 more at least tomorrow no more red flags but we'll see what happens i don't know what the weather's gonna be like tomorrow they reckon it's gonna be a um, wet race on sunday but i'm not sure about tomorrow but anyway this is solo p1 sunday night thank you very much guys bye